So now that we have completed the basic setup of the entire stuff, let's go ahead and actually perform the download of our image. In the first step, we create a URL object that contains the URL to which we want to connect. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to say URL download URL equals to new URL and this will contain our string URL as it is. Now you guys are probably wondering what is the difference between this string URL that we have and this URL object that we have here. This URL object provides us some methods through which we can perform stuff like you know for example you can say download URL dot like you see you can say get authority get default port get file get host get path and some other queries that you can run whether you can check if it's running HTTP protocol or is it an FTP protocol kind of stuff and that's why we have this URL class specially to deal with the kind of stuff and of course there's the other thing over here which is marked red let's just click it says must uh, handle an exception called malformed URL exception now what does this mean let's simply surround with try catch for now now you see a URL may not be proper for example the structure of a URL is something like this it is exactly HTTP for example you can say there is HTTP there is colon double slash and then there's www dot whatever right now what if there is no HTTP what if there's no colon there's a semicolon over here so in that case the URL is not properly formed and hence what you can get is a malformed URL exception which will be thrown if this string URL is incorrect and hence we need to handle that in this case but we won't print the stack trace we'll leave as it is now we'll make sure that this method returns boolean to indicate if the download was successful or not so let's make this boolean here and let's make a variable here which is says, which says boolean successful equals to false by default let's assume that the download failed if everything goes great then we will say that the download went good otherwise we'll simply say the download failed and url equals to null here but download url is new url here and that's all we need to do and return successful from our so now that we have connect created the url object the next step is to open connection to that url object that can be done in a very simple way again we can say download url dot open connection now as you guys notice this gives us a url connection object which is a general object now you can have different types of url connections now since we are connecting with an http based url what we get is an http url connection object so i'm going to say http url connection equals to this and since this is returning url connection object and on the left side I have HTTP URL connection we need to perform the type casting so press control 1 add the type cast over here and there's one more thing that we need to do is that we open and we add IO exception now an input output exception may be thrown if something goes wrong at this step so we can add a catch clause to the surrounding case to have our IO exception handled as well so we can remove this again so this basically completes our step about establishing the connection now you guys are probably saying hey there is another way in Android to make connections it's called HTTP client Google recommends that you use HTTP URL connection for all purposes while establishing connections and hence I will not talk about HTTP client for now if you guys don't believe me you're welcome to go to developer.android.com and you're welcome to check which is better HTTP client or HTTP URL connection I've already read the complete article and that's why I'm saying this so connection dot get input stream now this is the next thing that we need to do now this input stream is like a pipe to the URL so I'm gonna say input stream over here this gives us an input stream object let me create this HTTP URL connection outside the loop over here and make it null here outside and inside let me just go here and keep it like this now the reason why I'm creating it outside because later I also want to disconnect it that is inside our finally clause over here if if it's not null I'm gonna check here by saying if connection not equals to null then connection dot 
disconnect now the reason why we do this is to conserve resources because opening connections and maintaining ports open for our application takes resources in the Android OS and battery will be spent if you don't close the connections properly and at the same time you will end up messing something or the other if you don't close the connections and hence it's always best that you disconnect and this is the reason why the connection object has been kept outside over here so that it's accessible inside finally so this is done so input stream is gonna give me again an input stream I'm gonna make it null outside again because input stream also needs to be closed so I'm gonna say input stream input stream equals to null again I need to import the class here control 1 java.io.inputstream that's the class so here there's go input stream equals to connection dot get input stream so at this point everything is almost set again we need to close the input stream because input stream is like a water pipe water keeps flowing out of it if you don't close it you're wasting water right so you're gonna say input stream not equals to null then perform the closer that is input stream dot close so this will conserve resources now input stream dot close itself throws an exception hence we sound that with try catch as well and here again there is in the case of IO exception just keep it as it is we will don't we won't bother with our I mean we won't bother ourselves with this shit over here so that completely takes care of establishing the connection now the next thing is about reading stuff so we can read one byte at a time or we can read uh, what you call multiple bytes now let me show you what it looks like so to read one byte at a time it's, it's like saying this int red equals to minus one you assume that currently nothing is being read and then what we have is a while loop where I say while now notice carefully how this while loop works now inside the while loop I will call input stream dot read now this will give me a valid value if there is something to read otherwise it will give me minus one so I want to keep reading as long as this is not equals to minus one in other words if let's say there is a character a on your web page then input stream dot read will return 65 so red will contain the value 65 that is not equals to minus one hence it will proceed again but at the file ends input stream dot read is gonna give minus one and the while loop will terminate so this is how things work now I could go ahead and print this out just to show you guys I'm gonna say L dot M over here and we can just print this out now of course I didn't show you what my L class does you see L is this little beautiful class that I've written here it has the static method M which basically has a log dot D and this message S which is nothing but a toast dot make text the reason why I made this is got tired of writing log dot D and uh, what you call toast dot make text statements over here so I'm gonna simply go here and I'm gonna say L dot M and just to show you guys that it's being read I'm gonna simply print red over here so as each single byte gets read it's gonna be printed right here so this is the first step that we have and for the URL part let's just take some URL over here so for now let's just say the download image button is over here remember so once this button is clicked let's say we want to download image using threads and the URL will be let's say list of images of zero if you guys remember list of images is this string array over here that is initialized by saying get resources dot get string array over here so if you go and open that file which is res values strings then this is that image list which contains all the URLs that I want to download images from so that is perfectly we are downloading the zeroth URL over here by passing that URL we are gonna read each byte and that's gonna be printed right here in front of your eyes so at this point we can go ahead and run this let's take a look at this I'll be running straight on my device so let's say download images click run at the top so at this point if you hit download image the app crashes they're like whoa what happened and now let's take a look at that because I said this is an experimental learning we're gonna see exactly what goes wrong so the first thing it goes here and says Java dot lang dot illegal state exception could not execute method of the activity now why would it say something like that because caused by android dot os dot network on main thread exception 
so you see you cannot perform network operations on the main thread what you need is a background thread for doing things like that so at this point you know how to read the data from the internet you know exactly how the client works you know how the connection works but what you don't know is how to use threads and how to perform this download image using threads so in the next video I'm gonna further continue building this and we are gonna create our own thread from where we are gonna execute this method which downloads images in the background using threads in the meantime if you like what you saw please like this video share this video subscribe to our channel and let us know your thoughts in the comment box below thanks for watching we'll catch you guys in the next video have a nice day